Alright, so today I'm going to teach you how to create a stencil using Photoshop. So first off, you want to open Photoshop, and then I'm going to teach you how to easily take that stencil you made on Photoshop and cut it out. So we're going to start off by, as you see, opening up Photoshop, and then you must choose your image. I typically like to use Google. You can search any image you like. It's really easy to use a simple, simple um, character or figure or item to make a stencil out of something like um, a mouse. We can do that. And you can do something like Mickey Mouse. Woohoo! So once it loads, and also we can do something like a moose, which I have here, or Steve Jobs. Later I'll show you how to do a double layer stencil. And so this seems to not be working, but we're going to use the moose that we already have. So open with that, let it load. Alright, so now we have Photoshop opened with the moose. Pretty simple, now we're just going to grab all the area around the moose with the magic tool to then cut it out and you hit delete and you want it in a white space and so as you can see here there are no legs to the moose so we're gonna have to do something about that and what I'd like us to do is do a solid brush hard ground and that will work perfectly for us choose that make sure your item is black select that area so we select the entire thing, use the brush, and just draw in the legs. Now this makes it more original because it's your artwork and also the legs are actually there. And so we will do this, I really like the back leg to look, kind of round it off up here, fill in that area. What makes it a lot easier and a lot more fun is you can use a paint bucket and just kind of fill in that area so that way you don't have to continuously be doing that now as you can see part of the moose has gotten colored and that is okay so what we're going to do it <coughs> goes up to image adjustments um, I would like us to go to first our curves and then you want to take that kind of so that way as you can see up here the horn the horns are more vibrant and then you go to image once again down to threshold and then simply take that drag it to where it looks about right and there you go there's your stencil of a moose now what you can do is go file save as save as a JPEG to your desktop and then print it so we can save that and so now what I'm going to show you how to do is do a two layer a two layer stencil and that is going to be with Steve Jobs the great guy he is so what we're going to do is select an area around the area around him that we do not want in the picture and what you can do is it's going to take a little bit of time to load is see how his head is not in the in the area well we can delete that so that it is so that way we don't delete his forehead and then also his shoulder over here we can go like that and then just hit delete once again give it a white space now this one's going to be a lot more complex so what we're going to do is start off by having the curves you want his um, colors to be a little darker so you can go with image adjustments exposure level and change the exposure level and bring it down and what we can do is I forgot to actually select the space so image adjustment curves there we go and so I'm gonna give him more depth for the first one so you go okay and then what you want to do is take that image exposure levels and kind of give it that and so what we're going to do is start off by having his entire silhouette black along with the iPod and so it's going to be really easy. Take it, go to threshold and change it all the way to black. And so as you can see there's Steve Jobs' silhouette and that's going to be the background. 
so save as uh, Steve Jobs. We'll save as Steve Jobs. Jobs. One to the desktop. Maximum size. Now you want to exit out of that and then reopen up the old image with Photoshop. Select your area once again. Delete the unwanted area. Now because you're using, a, this is going to be a double layer, you want to make sure everything is reselected. And then you go to the white space, select the entire thing, and then since this is a lot brighter, we want to keep it like that, but also we could definitely change the curves a little bit to make it a little more rich and rich. So hit the curves a little bit like that, then go back up to image, adjustments, at the threshold and then this is where it gets really complex so as you can see here this is where it's going to be colored the black space is where it will be colored when we cut it out and so the iPod does not look very very precise so what we can do is create a line around there once we cut it out but then his hand will be there and that will leave a colored space for which we will be painting so go go up there I'm going to hit OK with the threshold. You can then choose to make a line of some sort. Right there. Oops. Delete. Cancel. Anyways, we'll take that. Get that line out of there. Step back. Step back and step back. Anyways, what we're doing here is getting rid of those lines that were unneeded that I accidentally put in there. And that is how you make Steve Jobs for your second layer. Save. So that's that. And you are done. Okay now, so we have printed out the Steve Jobs two layer and we will first cut out his silhouette and then cut out the front. <laughs>